YouTube. What's going on with everybody? Um, I know it's been a long time since I got on here, but wanted to make this video. This is a six YouTube video, um, and it's a voiceover. So let's get into this thing. I don't have a mic quite yet, so recording on my phone, just regular video and just only putting the audio on this, but um, we'll see how this turns out. So in this sixth video, I just wanted to do something real quick, maybe show the fellas how to, you know, take care of themselves. Just something to, you know, if, you, if no one ever told you, now I'm telling you. Uh, just doing a little mani-pedi for myself, a little self-care. I noticed my fingernails, toenails are getting a little outrageous, so I wanted to go in on them and I thought, hey, why not make a video? So this is that video. We're starting off with a at home pedicure. I got myself a Lowe's bucket. I had this for a while, but um, didn't want to do it in the tub, so I just filled this up with some hot water, filled it up with some Epsom salt, and you know, soaked my feet for a little bit. Probably soaked them for like five, 10 minutes, I'm not too sure. Just something real quick to get, you know, everything loosened up, softened up, so I can just easily get in there with some, some clippers. And you know, we're using the basic tools for this. These are at home items everybody should have. And if you don't have these, you might wanna consider investing. So I'm just going in each toe with a clip, just trying to make sure everything's nice and even. Um, when you clip your toenails, if you don't know, you wanna pretty much just get the excess that's hanging off. You don't wanna get under near that raw part. That'll really mess you up for days. And when you clip them, you wanna make sure you get it from left to right, from side of the toe to side of the toe, so you don't have any ingrown hairs. Those will ruin your day as well. Um, after you finish clipping all the toenails, you know, make sure everything's good and clean. You wanna go in it with a file and when you file these, you don't have to go too crazy. You just want it so it's good enough, you know, nice and even, clean cuts. You can go back and forth to really, you know, put some work in. But when you're trying to finish it all up, you want to file in the same direction. And what I mean by that is, is the finish. Um, when you go left and right, your toenail, you know, probably microscopically or even like up close to it, you'll be able to see that it's pretty jagged. And if you file in the same direction, it gets real smooth. And you know, your toenails won't get caught on, uh, I don't know, carpet, socks, your shoes, whatever you're putting your feet in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for both feet. And then I'm going in with the clipper I have, a nice little trimmer to get my feet hair, my toe hairs. When these get long, you know, things get real treacherous. Your feet start hurting during the day. Socks will pull on them and it just makes you a little miserable. So just to freshen that up, it, it feels good and you know, it'll look good. So you want to definitely get both feet with these. And then after this, I'm gonna hit them with some lotion. You know, you gotta moisturize after a nice little hot soap just to finish everything up. You know, I just wanted to bring up that this is the sixth YouTube video I'm making. It's a voiceover. This is my first voiceover. This is the first video I'm doing with this much editing. Um, also, I believe this is the longest video I have. It's probably coming in at like 11 minutes and three seconds. Um, I know this one took me a little bit longer and I definitely didn't meet my deadline of a video a week this time around, but I'm glad I could still get this done. It's been a process, just been a little busy and lacking a little bit of motivation, but I'm getting back into it. It's only the sixth one and I plan on just really making these for fun until I'm somewhat good at it. But um, that's the end of the pedicure and now we're gonna get into a little manicure. Basically the same process clippers, nail file, soaking them in water, some lotion, had to switch out the lotion, ran out of the Nivea, and I didn't really want to, you know, pump that thing out, so we just got regular lotion for now. We're going to first soak the hands, you know, 5-10 minutes, do what you got to do, get everything soft and easy. I did not get my cuticles this time around, I don't have anything to trim or push them back or really get them out, 
So just really working with the fingernails here. Um, you'll see that I'm gonna do the clippers and really just trim those things. And same thing with the fingers, you know, you just wanna get the overhang of the nail. You don't have to get it exactly because that's what you'll have to file for, but get it nice and close, nice and clean, and then go at it with the file. And same thing with the file on the hands. You can go back and forth, but the finish won't be as smooth. So once you know you get your back and forth going on, you wanna make sure you really push it in one direction so it's a nice clean finish. And I know you see these fingernails probably flying all over the place, sitting on the table and whatnot. These were all cleaned and disposed of. I found every single one, swept the floor, wiped the table down, so don't even worry about that. Yeah, if you're getting something out of this video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. You know, I'm dropping more videos. This will just be the first one. I'll drop an updated version sometime down the line if, you know, people really like this one. But I'm hoping you guys can get something out of this, you know, taking care of yourself. It's, it's important for, you know, your self-esteem, your self-respect, how others view you, and, you know, just the overall quality of life that you'll have. You definitely want to make sure you're taking care of yourself. <clears throat> so we're getting close to the end of this video. Um, just wanted to say thank you everybody for watching. Thanks for watching video after video. Sorry this one took so long. But um, seventh video coming out soon. Not too sure what I'll make it about yet. Um, it'll probably be another talk over joint. You know, I just want to start getting into video, doing research, really working on that, getting good visuals and getting this YouTube thing started. You know, we're coming close to the 10th video. That's pretty much the end of the YouTube starting journey playlist I have going on. Uh, crazy to think there'd only be three more to go, but three more to go. This video making process is quite different. This isn't like anything you'd really expect. It's a fun new journey for myself and I recommend it for anybody. Um, you can see me stretching and really getting my hands loose and my forearms loose. I finished the manicure, lotion, lathered up, and just trying to release, get some relaxation in those tight areas that we often neglect day after day. You definitely want to get a back and forth, get a little bit of the thumb, make sure the forearms are good. This is a very good release. If you're liking this, please, you know, follow along. Maybe you'll do this tomorrow, maybe you'll do this tonight, but I highly recommend taking care of yourself. You'll feel a whole lot better. You can follow this step for step, you know, this is pretty much a guide. If nobody showed you how to do this before, it's it's time to start doing this. You know, everybody notices. You'll start noticing.
especially if you're watching this, you know this is something you got to take care of. So let's get to it. There's no more messing around. Again, this video is coming to an end. Just wanted to say thank you, everybody, again, for watching and paying attention. You know, I'm, I'm very grateful for every set of eyes that get laid on these videos. Just the work and overall time I'm putting into these. And just, you know, relax. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the month. Enjoy your life. It's all a process. Enjoy the journey. Take it all in for what it is. You don't have to be the clean cut, polished final form yet. That's what you're working towards. You are working towards it. And I promise everybody will get there.